G'day boys and girls, it's your boy back fresh out of fucks to give and a will to live. Did you know that the average surge protection system in a house will make it really difficult to use a toaster in a bathtub? Well hey, now you do. Now all jokes aside, this is going to be a serious video. Um, something's been weighing on me recently, I've been having a bit of a tough time. Uh, but I think talking about it is really going to help me get it out of my chest. Uh, but some of you may know, some of you may not know, but recently I went through a breakup. Um, it was very tough. It's been a hard time for me. But uh, me and Gloria Holly, Miss Gloria Holly, the fake wooden girlfriend that I built, um, we're no longer together. Now for everyone that wants to know what happened, well, we. I dumped her. I dumped her hard and it was brutal and I really should have been tender about it. I should have given her a hug, said some nice words and parted ways amicably, but instead I took her and yeeted her cock first into a bin. Um, and I'm not sorry about it at all. And to be honest, it's one of the few breakups in my life that I do not regret one bit. She was demonic. The eyes would stare at you from across the room, sucking the secrets out of your soul and just randomly in the middle of the night you'd be walking to go to the bathroom and you'd trip over her giant wooden cock. No way of knowing how it got there. But still, I swear it was haunted. The ghosts of all of the people that I wronged somehow manifested inside that wooden doll with a hole in it and tormented me for a long time. But still, I am a little bit torn up about how brutal it was so I thought I'd make this video in memoriam and uh, share some of the better times we had together. And considering the fact that I threw her in the bin and there is a 100% chance that she has been crushed to a pulp at a tip somewhere, um, I think it's best if I make a coffin and send her on her way to the afterlife, that is. Hell, where she's going. She's going to hell. Fucking evil doll. So without going further with any doing, Miss Gloria Holly, this is your life. All right, so now that the sad stuff is over, let's get to building something. Uh, first things first is I need to make a coffin. Um, Cause that's a sentence I never thought I'd say in my life. And as you can tell by how sweaty my hair is, uh, it's hot as fuck out here. So I don't really want to do anything strenuous. So um, to be honest, I'm thinking cardboard. Because, well, let's be honest, I'm not going to waste good materials on the fucking doll. Anyway, I mean, sad. So sad that she's gone. <laughs> now, here's the shitty thing. A couple days ago, before I decided to make this video, me and Dad went through the entire shed and threw away everything that wasn't being used and made it all neat and tidy. Uh... In hindsight, we shouldn't have thrown out half the shit we threw out because I could use that for the video. So, for fucking 2020 hindsight being what it is, I might be fucked. Found a box. All right, so I need to make a bottom of a coffin out of this. Hang on, let me just... Yes, yes, good, good. Nice. Now we repeat the process for the lid. Little mark. So here's the bottom. Just fuck that off. Here's the bottom. Here's the top. Can you tell that I gave up halfway through? Anyway, that goes there. That goes there. Except it doesn't. She was rather well endowed. So, need to make some surgery.
I really phoned this one in, didn't I? Now she did deserve slightly better than the bullshit I just made, so um, let's make it pretty. I ran out of paint, and that seems slightly appropriate for how shitty this video is turning out. But I don't fucking care, because I'm gonna have a beer. I guess all that leaves is the ceremony. And now that it's come to it, now that it's time to actually say goodbye, I find myself hesitating. I find myself thinking of all the good times we shared. I find myself. What right in hell, bitch? Now, some of you may be asking, hey Thaney, didn't you go a little bit overboard there? Was it really necessary to set that on fire? Why did you throw her away in the first place? And well, the answer to those questions is, yeah, I probably went a little bit too hard on the meme and setting it on fire was probably a little bit too far, but the real question is, would it have been an entertaining video if I didn't? Probably not. Trust me, it was hard polishing this turd into what you're currently watching. That being said, if you did like this particular flavor of turd, let me know in the comments section. What part of it did you like? Was it the texture? Was it the smell? Was it the smooth feeling between your fingers? And while you're at it, on this video for a limited time only, if you hit the subscribe button, you will get one more person that you're subscribed to. Yay! Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, please, thank you, bye. Oh, and by the way, I threw her out because I'm moving to Canada. I fly out on Wednesdays, so if you want to see an Australian freeze his tits off on a snowfield, uh, subscribe for the fuck of it. See ya.